Hello, welcome to the Colorful Creativity Podcast. My name is Caroline and this is episode 174. You can find me online everywhere as Kralaline, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Ravelry, Ko-Fi, Patreon, basically everywhere. And I have a web shop, colorfulcreativity.nl. I'm alone. Binksy's asleep. Let's see how long this will take. Um, let's start with finished objects. I have two. I'm gonna do a spoiler warning. This is gonna be a sock heavy episode. I have finished the stripy socks for my husband and they are almost identical. Somehow at the toe, this stripe was longer than this one. And yeah, it'll be in the shoes. Nobody will notice unless it's at home and I don't care because the same sock is pretty boring. I mean, this yarn is by Fab Funky Fibers and it comes in 250 gram skeins. So you always have the same socks. Well, just a tiny bit of difference, which is good. Totally fine. I knit these with my regular recipe I do for my husband, which is 72 stitches on a two and a half millimeter needle. Binks is awake. <laughs> and um, yeah, so here it is. The first pair of finished socks. And that's not the only finished object because I have another pair of socks finished. Here is the pair of Delicanium socks and um, it is a slip stitch pattern. So every few, few rounds you knit the stitch and then you keep slipping it the next rounds. It's very neat and it has a garter heel flap, no, uh, a garter short row heel in the pattern and I thought let's just stick with the pattern and try it out. These are knit toe up and um, I don't often knit toe up anymore because I usually don't like to do the bind off. But this bind off looks pretty good. I use the Jenny's very stretchy or amazingly stretchy whatever bind off where you wrap the yarn like a yarn over or the other way around if you do other stitches. Um, in pattern, ribbing, yada yada. Very stretchy indeed. Um, this yarn is colorful sock, so my own hand dyed. I did that many years ago. Uh, this is one of the first hand dyed speckled skeins I made. And it took me a while <laughs> until I wanted to use it. But it turned out very nice socks for Robert. Also knit on two and a half millimeter needles. Hi, hi, sharps, my go-to. Those were my finished objects. And with that, I finished all the whips for Robert. Um, not entirely true. I have two more sock whips on the needles. And I think I came from 10. So just two left and those are on the list to be either frogged or I need to do so much work on it that no, I'm just not ready to do that. Um, so it was time to cast on new socks. But first I will show you my progress on the mystery knit along. In this Tammy Cassie project bag I have a pretty heavy bag because I have a tablet in here with uh, where I keep an app. Uh, let me show you. It is called B Count, and I have here all the different counters for all the different cables. So every cable has its own counter, and I can just change the counter by pressing plus it will reset once it's through the full repeat and I don't have to think that much about things. <laughs> um, so the mystery knit along, the neon knots mystery knit along by Anna Johanna 
is already on clue nine and I'm still on clue six, but hey, I am on clue six, so. I am going round now. So we have the front with a very nice cable there. And I have to say, I like maybe like the back cable even better because that's really my jam. I did do some minor adjustments because I have different cables. I do not like XO, XO cables. And this one would have four of that in my size on the back. Like this one, this one, and these two would be XOXO cables. So I made them stag horns, but both of them the other way. I am currently knitting this on a four millimeter needles. I have an extra cable in here because I wanted to try it on and it fits. Um, I, I added four stitches when picking up or uh, casting on stitches for the underarm that I'm going to decrease out now. Um, but frankly, my brain wasn't into this whole project, keeping all the cables, etc. So uh, the yarn I'm using is this gorgeous, my absolute favorite cor coral color, I guess. I finally managed to dye. Um, this is a singles yarn, merino and linen, and it knits up like a charm. I really, really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I do enjoy the pattern, but I need brain for it. And currently brain is on vacation, so to speak. So I haven't knit that much on it the past week, but here you go. Binks has already had enough. Uh, he is back under his blanket, um, which I understand. It is kind of chilly. Uh, autumn is here, so um, yeah. We didn't turn on the heating yet, and the cats are not very happy about it. I think it is 19 and a half degrees in our living room. I could put on a cardigan as well, which I will do after I finish. Um, so let's continue with the works in progresses next to pour all new cast ons. I had a frenzy with socks. So, and I'm not done yet, but that will be something I will tell you about later. Um, first up in uh, this flowery bag, I have a project that might be frogged because I'm not a fan. Um, I have my hand spun here. And this is the Dibadu sock yarn spin I did. And I cast them on on a two and a half millimeter needle. And I think the yarn is not fingering. It is lace. It is... It doesn't have a lot of life in it. it it's a bit dead. Um, not much spring or anything and well i have a cast on i have this rib but it is very see-throughy i'm not sure if you can really see that but i sure can um the gauge is too loose on a two and a half millimeter needle with the thickness of the yarn or actually the thinness of the yarn um, this is actually a bit thicker even than what I already used. It's hand spun, so it's not quite even, but you can see it's fairly thin. Um, it's a very light fingering, and I will probably have to recast them on, on a two millimeter needle, or just knit something else with it. Um, so these will be frogged. This is not bringing me joy at the moment. So this is fine. This is not a work in progress anymore. Is now gone. Then in the Floof Hunter bag, I have a project that has been a request, and I am not sure if the person I'm making this for is watching, but okay, we'll see. Um, I have here another go at the repeat after me socks that I knit 
what was it? Probably two years ago. So I have a cuff and the first repeat and I think I now have to start the increases because it's gonna be shorty socks. And um, they have a neat gusset pattern in there. Um, repeat after me is by Erika de Niet from Stitchy Design. And this pattern was used in the Super Sock World Championship last year? No. Two years ago? What was it last year? I don't know. I really don't know if it was one or two years ago. Oh, well, this says 2023 V9, so it's probably last year. We were in Italy by the, at, at that time. Um, but here are the socks. You can see that neat gusset and uh, yeah, they're just going to become shorty socks. So that's awesome. Um, the yarn I'm using is Opal Surprise and this was definitely a surprise ball because it had four knots in it and the knots were not cooperating. Now I'm trying to get my yarn back. And this is also opal. This is solid color, petrol, kinda. Do I have a label? I don't think so because this was a leftovers ball. Um, yeah, opal surprise. Yeah, I wasn't happy with the surprise I got with the gradient. The rainbow was absolutely broken up in pieces and I wasn't really happy with the service. Um, I did get a new ball of yarn, but in the email they wrote, well, it's very normal to have two uh, knots in 50 grams. We think that's normal. Well, this is a ball of 100 grams and I had four knots. So that was normal. But seriously, if you sell a rainbow gradient and it goes from purple right to yellow, and then from uh, blue back to pink. I'm sorry, but that's just not how it's supposed to be. Um, I have knit like eight balls of this yarn already and none of them had this issue. So, no. I do have a new ball. And this bit uh, from that broken up ball was 33 grams. And my previous project used 33 33 grams, so hopefully I can make it work. Otherwise, I'll just piece it together myself. Um, knitting these on two and a half millimeter, high, higher sharp. I basically had all my sock needles empty, so it was like, okay, I need new sock project. I need a simple self-striping uh, plain vanilla. That's gonna be shrugged. I had this one because it was a request. And then I started looking at my queue. And in my queue, I had a project in this uh, cute constellation bag. And in here, I have a project that, that has been on my uh, to-do list since basically the pattern came out and my wish list queue or whatever you want to call it. Um, these are the Delfter Sock. Delfter Socken by Lena Trost. Um, Lena is an awesome designer and she was here not too long ago. And I finally got around to casting these on and I'm really, really happy with them. Um, I am using these two yarns. Um, this one is Schepjes Invicta Glamour. The label is folded wrong, so. Oh, this will focus. Come on. Schepjes Invicta Glamour. And the color is just. Where is it? 98518. Basically, undyed with silver sparkle. And. This one, okay, seriously, are we going to stop this now? Gravity is very heavy today. Everything is falling on the ground. 
Um, that one is Signature 4 Ply Sparkle. And this is the Silent Night colorway. It is one of the Christmas colors of a few years ago. And a few is definitely more than two. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Years fly by currently. Um, if you ask me about Robert medical stuff, what happened, what year, etc. I can tell you everything basically almost on the date. But other stuff, no. It's just gone. Um, so these two, I thought it would look very nice with Delft Blue. And I think I'm correct in that. Because I have a start. And this is already the second start. But let's see. Look at that pattern. I am knitting the biggest size. Um, I have to look up how many stitches that was. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, 72 stitches. Um, I started them on a 2.25 millimeter needle uh, because they will be for me. I'm gonna keep these. These are mine. And I then continued on a 2.5 millimeter needle for this color work part. This is a regular color work part, like floats and all. Floats and all. Come on, show it. Thank you. And then the Delft Blue tiling is with Leatherback Jacquard and that I'm going to do on a 25 millimeter needle because I know my Leatherback is a bit looser than my regular color work. Um, or it has more stretch. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't care. I just have to do some, as they call it apparently, needle Mikado. It was the first time I heard of that. Uh, and then I heard of it three times in one day, so I thought that was fun. It is very German, I guess, but I think I'm gonna adopt the name. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit more of this color work pattern to go, and then I start the tile and the letter back to card. So far, I can get it over my foot now. Uh, I frogged the two and a half millimeter part, and then restarted on a 2.75 millimeter part. And that is what I'm knitting now on. So yeah, 2.25 millimeter, two and a half to come, and then the 2.75 millimeter. I guess I have to do the heel on 2.25 as well. Um, and this is not the only project I have with that uh, changing needles. So, but that's fine. Um, fun project. It was the number one on my queue, and I thought, I deserve to treat myself and start it. I now have yarn for all her patterns, so she has three wonderful patterns, and um, they're only on Ravelry, I think. Um, so if you cannot use Ravelry, I'm happy to send you a screenshot of it and get you into contact with her to maybe uh, get the pattern in a different way. But her patterns are all free, I think. Um, well, she has this one, the Delft, Delfter uh, socks. Um, she has one with koi fish and leaves with um, special techniques and really cool that the socks side by side have the pattern going uh, yeah, from one foot to the other instead of just two feet. And uh, the other one is with sakura flowers, where I want to use the spin in yarn for. Yeah, just really, really nice patterns. And then in the Eldenwood scroll bag, I have socks for Robert. Wow. Um, I am knitting the, I have to say it right. Prairie something socks. Yeah. I only printed out the pattern part of the pattern. Um, these are the feet where you have these tiny cables going out, but on the leg they look like this. Come on, focus. Yes. 
So let me look up the info. Prairie Spring Socks by Samantha Murr, I think. Um, and here is my progress on them. I love it. I cannot make them too long because it does take away from the stretch. I'm knitting the biggest size, 80 stitches. I cast on the rib with a 2.25 millimeter needle. I am now knitting on a two and a half millimeter needle. And here is the yarn. Also a hand wound ball because I was too freaking lazy to get out of my chair to get the ball winder set up and everything. I just sat in my chair and hand wound this one and the hand spun. So I'll tell you the reason later, but yeah. I started without the umbrella swift and I just had it on my lap. The cats were asleep, so that was fine. But still I made a mess of it. So I put it aside. I did get up out of my chair and got the umbrella swift, put it on there and then I had a neat ball in the end. Um, this yarn is by Spin Godin. This way around, well done. And the colorway is called Bayen Eater or Bee Eater. And I got this at Castle Fest when I uh, got more than one skein. But this one I got for Robert and I was like, no, this is not gonna marinate in my stash. I'm gonna start right away. So, so project number four started. And probably today I will start another one. I'm also minus one, so it will stick with four new sock projects, which is okay. Um, the new project that I'm going to cast on is very exciting because it's a test knit. I hear you say, Caroline, you wouldn't do any more test knits. Yes, I know, but my brain is very happy to do this one. Um, I'm, I've been excited for it ever since I signed up and was really hoping to get in all week. Very hard of refreshing Ravelry if people were taking uh, my size or not. They weren't. I'm going to knit the extra large, so I'm gonna make them for Robert. And this is the test knit for Lanophilia, uh, my lovely friend Kaya. And she has designed a pattern with a bed sign. And the pattern is designed for Frau Böfchen. And she's also a friend, so a very wonderful dyer in Germany with fiber and special bases, like not the regular stuff. She is amazing. Um, so all was screaming, I need this in my life. And I can show you this photo of the test knit sign up uh, request. I mean, it's a bad signal, right? I just need it in my life, or actually I need to knit this for Robert. And there is a bit of a common thing between most of my socks currently and they're all dark blue. Which is not the best thing to do <laughs> when winter is starting, but okay. Um, I guess I'm feeling like darker colors at the moment. Um, the bad socks will have a dark blue yuck sock base and a bright yellow smooth sock. So it will be amazing. Robert picked his own colors and he went with my own yarn. Not with the Yawol. No luxury yak sock. A fine dear, fine. Now I can finally try my yak sock because I haven't knit with it so far. And then that's all my works in progress at the moment. That is not true. I'll be right back. I have one more work in progress and I already forgot because I worked on this because my brain wasn't working. I have been very sick last week. Um, I ate something wrong from the barbecue chicken and I got a very bad, uh, well, it's not, yeah, you say a stomach bug, but it wasn't in my stomach, just in my bowels. So I spent a lot of time on the toilet and I was so tired and so much brain fog. It was just, I could still eat, but it would fly through me basically. 
20 to 30 times a day was normal. It's not normal, I know. Um, I had to send in a sample uh, at the GP and a few days ago it came back and it was, um, what was it called? Campylobacter, uh, which is a very regular thing to get when you eat chicken that isn't fully cooked. We put in a thermometer in Robert's bigger chicken and that was fine. So we assumed my smaller one would be fine. Don't assume makes an ass out of you and me. Um, so I was craving long, long rounds of stockinette. So I picked up in my sock monkey bag from Frog Peak Creations, my lovely friend Monique, my garden gate sweater, because that is currently in stockinette land. So I can show you that I did this much. It's not a lot, I know, but it, it's very long rounds and yeah, it saw progress. And it is so nice to work with this again. Um, the yarn I'm using is Rowan Valley Tweed that I got from the lovely Angela of Yarn and Yarns. Um, I bought it in her shop uh, while I was there for the knit tea retreat, I think. Um, I have multiple colors. As you can see, I also have a yellow and a turquoise. I really, really love how it looks. But it is very boring. <laughs> I am currently knitting on what size? I don't even know and I cannot see it because it's worn off. I think this is gonna be a four millimeter. High, high, sharp. So yeah. This one also saw progress. Hopefully. This will see more progress so I can actually wear it in winter. Maybe autumn would be nice now, but I think I would be too warm very quickly. Then I have acquisitions because that really were all the whips I worked on. No embroidery again, damn it. Oh well. Um, I got my Queerdo 2 package by the We Yarn Company and Undercover Otter. And there's some really nice info on the back that they also raised over 800 euros and they did top it up to a 1000 euro donation to a uh, grassroots organization which matches people that are on the waiting list for gender affirming care in the Netherlands with buddies that have gone through the same thing. And with these funds, they will be able to facilitate meetings and activities between buddies in which financial assistance is required or financial barriers are present. I think that is awesome. And now I'm gonna show you the more important part, the yarn. I got this one and this is the Fagaduk. And this one is dyed by Ross of the Wee Yarn Company. And I think these two are amazing. I love the pink and orange together. And I want to make a bigger project with it. I am thinking an applesauce top by uh, Nori, Nori Chen Knits, I think. Um, yeah, this is the squirm base. So my absolute favorite sock yarn. And what can I say? It's just amazing. I love this color. I have to figure out, I think I'm gonna go with a dark pink-ish. Like there is pink in here, um, but I'm gonna do a bit darker as the other color. The applesauce is a crossover top and the back is stripy. So one part is one color, the other part is the other color and on the back you go back and forth i think yeah it is seamed so back and forth with the two colors so a stripe of each very thin stripes very nice and then i have been wanting to get this one for ages and it was always sold out 
uh, or it wasn't available at like the Breidagen or something. And um, yeah, the gay again agenda on Yaldi Yaksok by the Wee Yarn Company. So here you go. I now have one and I love it. So also Yaksok. Oh, so nice. And there was also tea in my uh, package. This is the Sunny Boy blend and the Offline blend, which is by Wilder Land. And this is tea with um, basically weed tea, but not the weed you think of now. Um, it's the weeds in the garden. Um, uh, herbal weedy tea. Um, this one is with fennel and the other two I don't even know the translation of, buckwheat. And the third one, not sure, uh, but it's buckwheat, so that one is going aside. I cannot have that. And this one is chamomile, rose petals and, and a few other things. So very interesting, very interesting concept because um, they sew... Um, at farmers and um, I guess they sew in the borders or something so there is bees and birds and stuff and butterflies coming so that's very cool and then I have some shop news I have launched the autumn box this week and the autumn box is just like any box I have published the, the past years um, it is a box with some tea and candles and nice treats for yourself for the season um, this time I have of course two candles by my local candle maker Karsius I have a bit of tea from my favorite tea shop the uh, local tea shop I have Het Gouden Randje and I have stitch markers a nice set with also a handmade glass bead by me. I have a little jar of Pimmy's Populous Cream, which is a nice cream you can put on things like abrasions or if you have a tiny rough spot somewhere, you can put that on there. Um, it is with beeswax, coconut oil, olive oil and propolis tincture. Um, propolis is also something that is made by bees so it is very interesting <laughs> I uh, do not know how she makes it but I really love that stuff you remember when I fell off my bike and I had the whole abrasion on my leg we put that stuff on there and it was amazing it worked wonders with it um, then there's also yarn of course and a pair of needle uh, stoppers or needle tip protectors how you want to call it um, so that's all in the box. The box is in the shop. You can pick one or two skeins. Uh, if you want more, just reach out to me. That's the dishwasher done. Because timing today is a thing. Uh, that's not really <laughs> happening somehow. Um, so that is the shop news. The boxes will ship beginning to middle of October is the plan. So in about four weeks, they should be heading out so I know what I have to do these next weeks and with that I am going into the personal stuff so if you are not interested in that bit totally fine I will see you again soon hopefully bye bye and thank you for watching and for those sticking around thank you very much um, we have good news. I mean, I launched an autumn box, was basically a spoiler for that. Um, Robert is doing well, the scans were good. So nothing in his body and his head, well, the brain, uh, they can see it has been treated, but it hasn't grown and there hasn't popped up something new. So all good. Um, of course, the same week we got the result, I got violently sick, like I already explained. <laughs> um, yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Um, but I had to keep going and it was like, okay, I'm going with you to the hospital. They have 
uh, toilets there so if I have to go I have to go I had a bag with me with my to own toilet paper because the hospital toilet paper is pretty thin and not the nicest if you have to go a lot um, so I have my own soft wet paper everything with me clean pants clean underpants everything in my bag oh my god it was hell but we made it uh, which was good and everything worked out okay and now I've had antibiotics and I am feeling back to normal again. So that is very, very nice. Um, this is the first day without antibiotics and um, I had the last one last night. So this morning I had a bit of issues from the antibiotics, but that was it. Everything else is fine. And now I can really, really get better. Um, Antibiotics make me sick too, so. But I only had three days, which is good. And the doctor was very nice with that. So, yeah. Everything good here, again. Um, did we do fun stuff? We went to my favorite tea shop to have a cup of tea after the last results uh, in the hospital. We then also bought a new game, Cahoots. And yeah, the whole plan we had to go to Zutphen fell through. I didn't meet my friend Monique, unfortunately. The one from the Frog Peak Creations project bag. Unfortunately, I just couldn't. I didn't have any energy. I went to the doctor that morning and I was like, no. I'm just too sick to do an hour drive there, hang around. Um, not being able to eat because I didn't know what I had then. It could have been something else, but I was like, this has to be bacterial. This has to be something I ate at the barbecue. I think it was a chicken, but I'm not sure. I would really like to know. And it could also have been stress, but I'm very happy it wasn't because if that was stress, something was really wrong with me. Um, yeah, that wasn't my normal body response to stress um, so yeah that fell through unfortunately but yeah okay do we have fun stuff planned at the moment no we're not going on vacation because we didn't know if I would be better by Monday uh, so we scratched that whole plan which is a shame but the weather seems to be very nice next week and I will be, probably be better by then but okay we planned our covid booster for next week so i'm guessing i'll just be enjoying enjoying the quiet time at home my own bed my own toilet my own shower um yeah maybe we can do a day out into sitzvan after all not to meet up with monique but to do the things i wrote down to do there because there's some cute little shops and sitzvan is a really nice little town um but we'll see what we can do after the COVID booster. <laughs> Robert also has an appointment with his psychologist. I have an appointment the week after to get uh, some implants removed at the gynecologist. So I didn't want to move all those appointments again because it was hard to get those. Um, so yeah, staycation apparently and I hope we can do some games. The new game Cahoots really sounds like fun. It's Uno, but you play together instead of against each other and you have to do some assignments and it sounded fun. And uh, yeah, the sun is out again today, but it is chilly here. I don't know how it is where you are, but we definitely have autumn now. Uh, Robert even had to wear his uh, fingerless mittens this morning on his bike. Uh, that's how cold it was. So, yeah. And what else? I don't have anything else to say, I guess. So, with that, I will say oh, have a nice time in between the podcast episodes. And um, I hope you get to do something that you enjoy. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.